So I had to come up with a different YouTube intro, because you people apparently skip right through that shit. You know how I know it? YouTube analytics. YouTube told me, dude, the first minute or two of your videos, they don't give a fuck. They don't watch that shit. They skip right through it. So from now on, to keep it nice and short, it's just gonna be, what's up YouTube, that's me. And now moving on, today I wanna show you how I made this beat. I made this beat for another YouTuber's beat contest. His name is at Lifestyle Did It. If you don't know who the guy is, I'll be linking his stuff in the description. Go check it out for yourself. But he's a great guy. I'm watching a lot of his content, very entertaining and at the same time educational when it comes to music production. With all this being said, let's move on to the project. Let's open Ableton Live and let's see what I did for the beat, shall we? So here we are in Ableton Live, this is the project and that's the original sample that was given to us by Lifestyle Did It. There was actually two different samples you could choose from, I went with this one and on its own it sounds like this, have a listen. Uh, that's it, you got the idea, nothing too crazy, a vibey piano sample with some vocal overlays, I love these type of samples. So I've heard a sample and I kind of knew right away that I don't want to keep it the way it is and just kind of put the drums over it, so I started to mess around, I started to chop, just experimenting around, so I don't want to really go into that too much, but what I did basically is like reverse the sample, stretched it, tried to kind of change up the parts to see what works the best. And at the end I came up with this. Yeah, so finally I kind of made this nice and vibey distorted pad, if you will. All this was made from this original paint sample that you can see in the beginning from this piano sample. And then I just used this vocal overlay that you can find in the original sample over here. It sounds like this by itself. Yeah, it's very subtle at the background over there, just to give it a slight touch of texture, you know, and together with the pad it sounds like this. Anyways, after I created this pad and I added this vocal, I decided to add some bass and the bass on its own sounds like this. It's almost like a typical Reese bass but I had to print it in audio because again to save CPU but the originally preset is coming from this Razer 6 from Native Instruments, it's the synth called Monarch and this is the preset just in case you want to know okay. So once I had my sample chopped up and my bass added I went to do the drums and drum solo they sound like this. So nothing crazy, kind of typical trap-ish drum pattern and I have the knock on the master that gives a bit more distortion and just brings the drums out a little bit more. And as well to spice the things up a bit, I've added this vocal sample from Outputs XL. It's a contact library and it's on its own it sounds like this.
And to be honest, that's pretty much it. I didn't do too much. To be honest, it's not that many sounds, but a lot of processing. Like for example, on this main sample, I've used thermal for the distortion. Then I went on and I've used some overdrive and shaper box on the main sample to give it kind of volume movement a little bit. The preset looks like this if you want to see, because without it, it's just kind of, it just goes straight all the time. I like when it moves. Also on the reversed vocal sample here, I've used Use this screw sample it kind of goes back and forth from reversing it and kind of play it the way it was it's kind of interesting I've used quite a lot of knock plugin on my monarch bass to kind of saturate the bass even further and clip it it gives great effect it's normally only for the drums but I use knock on like everything I have knock on a master now I kind of turned it off because of the CPU it doesn't give any punch but it saturates the and clips a little bit it's a great thing to use on a master it's a great plugin overall the same for the drums as i told you before i have a knock on the drum bus adding some punch saturating a bit and clipping and that's pretty much all the processing not so much going on it's a kind of simple beat to be honest but it goes pretty hard so i guess that's it for this one people thank you so much for watching sorry if i was a bit weird my laptop was driving me crazy with all the cpu spikes and like crashing all the time but i got through it hopefully you guys did too and just to mention i'm trying really hard to get to a thousand subscribers because that's when you start to get monetized and you actually can profit from youtube so if you felt like the content was cool i would appreciate the subscription and that's it people i'm wishing you all a very great great weekend thank you for coming through my name is almost famous i'll see you in the next one peace